How are you today? Are you enjoying your stay here? You know, this place belongs to you. I am only a custodian. Is it true? Now, the subject matter for tonight's lecture should be interesting for those who like to practice. Because this vidya is considered to be secret of secrets. How much can I explain and how much can we benefit it? It depends upon us both. This interaction between teacher and student is called diksha. Now, there are four categories of diksha. Initiation, what you call. What do you give to your teacher when you go for initiation? The Upanishads say, Samit Pani. Dry sticks. With all humility and love. These days people offer checks, fruits, this, you know. Because it's needed these days. But during that time, teacher used to take all the responsibilities for students, boarding, lodging, and teachings. You hardly find any teacher like that today, and you don't find the students also like that. Many of you have read what Samit Pani means, you see, and send me a bundle of sticks, you see, by mail. <laughs> you see, so during Guru Purnima day, I have seen at least twenty bundle of sticks through mail. It means I have nothing to offer and you don't need anything, these dry sticks are my saskaras. You should burn the fire of knowledge and burn all those sticks. Please accept this. In from ancient times, there are four categories of diksha. Yoga diksha initiating you into awareness because from the very beginning since your childhood you have been taught to see, examine, verify things in the external world. No school, no college, no university teaches you how to look within, how to find within, how to verify things within. Therefore, you establish a home, you establish a world of yours and you talk to people and live in the external world. Say, this is my country, this is my nation, this is my society, this is my family. But you do not know yourself. You are a stranger to yourself, yet you establish a new relationship with others, a claim to love them, you see, and always expect to be loved. So, there is a disaster in our family setup these days. But that starts from within, because you do not know yourself. In my opinion, before somebody gets married, he or she should go somewhere to understand one's own being, one's own self for some time, and then establish in the world. More than 65% of divorces are the result of this ignorance. because of ignorance. And for 
first of all, you should know that when you are initiated in yoga vidya, so first you are taught few exercises, you are made aware that you have a body, physical body, though you are not body alone, but body is important. You see, you have to learn to look after your body. It cannot help you on the path of enlightenment, but it can disturb you, it can create obstacles for you. Therefore, body should be looked after. That initiation in which body awareness is expanded is called yoga diksha, in which a teacher tells you to recite Gayatri Mantra and Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. They are not considered to be mantras given by Guru. They are must. Upyoga Diksha is another step of Diksha, in which when a teacher or guru sees a block, something which is creating barrier for the student and finds the student miserable, though honest, then that Diksha is given, that mantra is given, that method is given, so that she or he is free from that block, from that barrier. It's called Upadiksha. Third is called Jnana Diksha. Jnana Diksha leads you to attain intuitive knowledge. That is meant and that is reserved for the renunciates and monks in which Maha Vakyas are imparted to the students because they have renounced the world. Renouncing world does not mean dropping your body, not being responsible and not doing your duties. That's a false notion. Renouncing world means anything that you consider yours is not yours actually. You see, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. When you were born, you came to this world, there was nothing. You did not have anything. When you leave this platform, you don't carry anything with you. You don't have to claim anything that this is mine. You see. To those who renounce that concept that this is mine, this is mine, this is mine, they are called renunciates. But the, the people who live in the world as householder are not inferior to those who have renounced. Why they are considered to be higher? Because they have ample time to attain their goal while the people, householders, do not have enough time. They get busy, they get distorted, they get dissipated in the external world. Their desires are 99% mundane desires. While renunciates desires, 99% are desires for emancipation. They both had the desires. One desire is totally for emancipation, another desire is to have worldly pleasures, worldly gains, worldly attainments, 